WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we've got a mixed bag out there. That mix goes like this. you got the Dow, S&P, and NASDAQ trading the downside, 92 and then 12 points, respectively. The Russell's up four. Semis are up 75. Tranny's up 29. New York Stock Exchange is up 14. Gold's up 22 bucks. Silver's up 47 pence, light, cents. Lights Recruit is off 69. Natural gas up 14 pennies. That's a nearly 8% move there. 30-year Treasury down 18 ticks, printed out at 119.15. U.S. dollar index is off uh, seven uh, pips, trading out at 103.72. Let's take a look at what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart we begin with the es mini upper left hand side what do we know about it well from a daily standpoint uh waves number seven is where we're at as of last friday that high is 51.49.25 if we tick above it we have it we're at 51.46 the high so far today but if we tick above 51.49 that top gets extended there's also roads meant to indicator signal but that needs a bearish reversal candidate to confirm a top We've got the spot politics below its 50-day exponential moving average. That is bullish for the uh, S, uh, for the uh, buyers out there, for the S&P 500, I should say. The NQ has made a newer high today. It does not have wave number seven. It's just extended wave number six. That's letter F. We look for those wave seven tops, a very small portion of the uh, Chapman wave for a potential topping pattern. The NQ also has a Rhodes momentum indicator signal present. That requires a bearish reversal candle to confirm a top. U.S. dollar index trading lower, but still just trading with inside it. It's uh, profiles out here. So the U.S. dollar index is not broken down, but gold has most certainly broken out. We can see that by taking a look at that next chart out there. Price is trading above some trend lines. It's trading above Friday's high after that nice move out there. Gold is in a global rally. We will take a look at that. The move here in gold is real. Odds favor that uh, the low that we saw in January was the low for some time to come. If we take a look at silver out here, silver right now taking on its TD9 count breakdown resistance level. That's at 2360. If you get a close above that, that would be a positive for silver. Light Street Crude ran into trend line resistance. It's still trading above the top of its daily profile. The top of that profile is at 78.43, so any move back should find support at that level. Natural gas is attained the one to one A to B equals CD price projection. That's at a buck 95. Uh, price should continue to move higher. I don't have off the top of my head that that, uh, I think it's, there's a TD9 count breakdown resistance level. I just don't recall where it's at off the top of my head. And right now, the 30-year Treasury looked like there was a breakout going on Friday, but that breakout party may come to an end today. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge Dope. But if you're off to start your Monday, please have a magnificent one. Thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care.